This is New York City, a city that nearly three million Latin Americans call home. A city with the largest Hispanic population in the country. A city that today feels its heartbeat to the rhythm of the salsa, merengue, samba, and tango. Today, this city celebrates its Hispanic heritage. Live from Fifth Avenue, it's the 41st Annual Hispanic Day Parade. Now your hosts, Jim Watkins and Lolita Lopez. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the WB11's coverage of the 41st Annual Hispanic Day Parade live from Fifth Avenue. I'm Jim Watkins of the WB11 News at 10, alongside <laughs> my very lovely co-host. It says right here on the script, she's very lovely, Lolita Lopez, Yeah, you wouldn't and gentlemen. say it if it didn't say it, it on was the script. It was scripted. I had to say it. <laughs> and it's interesting. People always say they're playing bagpipes. Why are they playing bagpipes? Well, the region is so close to, you know, that area and part right. of the northern region. Uh, has this type of music and it comes down and it shows you just the fusion of everything. I'm from, my ancestors are from the Andalusia region, which is the southern part, and we have a lot of Moors that came from Africa, so a lot of my heritage is that combination. And if you're in the north, you have this combination. And the influence of the bagpipes, as you were saying, stretched across that part of the world to Scotland and Ireland as well. Rodriguez, the hustle, guns it over close play to Ghana. Back in my country, in the Dominican Republic, uh, Baseball is like a religion, and I think it uh, transfers here in uh, New York as well. The number one thing I think anyone, uh, Latino or non-Latino, they should focus on is education and academics. I think is the number one vehicle to success, whether it's in sports or just having a successful adulthood. We're in a period of time where I think it's pretty cool to be Hispanic, and I'm proud, very proud to be a Dominican and Latino. 